presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. It becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on the truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 139, NASDAQ off 7, S&P's off 14, gold contract down $2.20, trading at 1755 an ounce. We had silver flat, $22.62 an ounce, late sweet crude up a buck nineteen, eighty dollars $80.00. 53 cents a barrel. Note and bond market, they're closed out here today. Bank holiday, folks, uh, and you can expect the volume's going to be light, but I, what I expect is you're going to get a little selling coming into the close out here. Market is drifting into lower price. King dollar, big move on King dollar. It's up 265 ticks, trading 94, 332. Euro is 115. Yen, what a move this is, 113.34. And the British pound is 136 to 1 US dollar. iPhone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? You get a basically you get the indices that can't hold hold price. With SPY got up to a 440 today, 44026. Gave up four points thus far. You know, it's gonna have light volume. I expect you're gonna sell off coming into this close. My take right now, folks, is that we are going down to the lower end of the consolidation. And that lower end is 426 inside of the SPY. And if you break that with volume, bottom line, you get an ABC structure on the way down. We look at the NDX 100, and, and the SPY is much stronger than the Qs. The three Qs are weak, bottom line. They're down 70 cents. Uh, they, well, first off, they got to 363.20. They're at 360.45. Uh, the, the Qs look to me like they're in an ABC down, period. Okay, now they're both potential ABC downs. Because you'd have to break up. Oh, thank you. Let's get this chart up. What are we doing without a chart? My God, I got a sacrilege happening. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so inside the queues, what you have is this is that we have a high volume low, same deal, tra trading out there at, at 350. I suspect we're going to go after it. If you, if you break it with volume, you got an ABC structure on the way down. Now, when you take a look at the queues, which is interesting, is that the ABC structure, the way that actually is also set up, is that it, it's aimed right for the where we basically broke topside going all the way back to uh, June. Uh, it looks like it, that's where it's going to basically try to get into. And if we go a little bit lower, like 324, I think 324 basically is game. 324 is the highs of the lows that were generated out here in June. So we'll see where the baby shakes out, but that's, that's where my head's at at this particular point. Gold. Gold contract is in an ABC structure on the way up. And what you have is this. It's a complex ABC. So this is what ends up happening with a complex ABC structure, folks. In this case, we're talking about an ABC that's on the way up. You take the B point out. You take it out with volume. You give it up on price. That's what we did on Friday. The gold contract had great volume, had great price, and then, man, they just smoked it. And what we had is this. You had the gold contract get up to 1782. We had 
240,000 contracts traded. That took out the high that had uh, 151,000. That's give you a price projection of 1795. When it is a complex ABC up, you get the confirmation that you still probability in an ABC up when you pull back with light volume. That's what we're doing out here today. Gold contract can actually, well, you go, you can pull back as far as it wants. The bottom line is that, yeah, we might see 1745, we see 1749 today, then it will go after the B point once again. When you get this type of volume that we have here, my take is that we're going to get it, number one, and then the actual contract wants to run up somewhere in this uh, 1835 level. Silver, same type of setup in silver. Silver also is a complex ABC structure on the way up, size Z. And we have with the silver market, I mean, <laughs> I, silver is so volatile, it's insane, man. I mean, not as volatile as Bitcoin, but <laughs> pretty close. It, 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 let's put it this way. It's almost untradeable. That's the real bot. My, my take is I don't trade it because I don't like those, those moves that, you know, go a dollar in silver when you're talking about a $21, you know, a future. <coughs> Excuse me. Silver also took out the B point. You had uh, 2284. We had uh, 41,000 contracts traded, took out the 35,000. Today, you're going sideways down a little with 28,000. Silver also wants to get up to this, uh, I think it's 2395. That's, that's the number that's uh, inside of that. Good old King Dollar. So let's go take a look at King Dollar here. King Dollar right now, that is up 262. We're at 94,326. And it looks to me like this thing's going to try to test going all the way back, 94,742. Uh, what is amazing, and I want to thank one of the Tigers uh, for bringing this up uh, inside the den, is that this, this yen move, man, is insane. The yen, folks, today has just gone from 112 to 11341. And if you are in the metal market, as I am, and there's plenty of us that are in that, we're, <laughs> we get to count our lucky stars out here today, man, because it, it, when the yen is up this much and gold is not smoked, I'm not quite sure, you know, what the take is here. And, you know, this will take a little bit of figuring out because the correlation has been in there for quite some time, meaning if the yen gets really weak, the bottom line is that gold can get taken to the clean, as a, I mean, in a big way. That's not happening out here. Um, so we'll see where this whole thing wants to shake out. But pretty intriguing, man. There's no doubt about it. Some of the other higher volume equities out here today is that you got uh, Ford. Ford's flat at $15.17. You have, uh, let's see, who's hanging tough out there? AMC's still hanging tough. Pretty amazing. Hanging tough at $37 and they lose money. Transocean is up 10 cents. Comcast is down a buck 95. Uh, the XLE, we take a look at that oil sector. XLE right now, that's uh, up eight cents. It took out a, its uh, last swing. And uh, this would be interesting too. 5665, it took it out with volume in. XLE is going a lot higher. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Excuse me. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 125. We get the Nasdaq off 10. S&Ps are off 12. And uh, let's do. We'll just do a little uh, sports update here for a second. Uh, and one of the Tigers are asking, uh, you know, why do the Rays, the Tampa Bay Rays, home games don't get any people? So the Rays are playing the Red Sox, folks. And the Rays, you know, they've always since I've been here, man. They got a great freaking team. I mean, they spend the least amount of money. They really do great. Um, you know, and trust me, I'm, so we're in the third block where I'm building on the 22nd block. They're on the 17th block. You know, I think a lot of it has to do with the stadium itself. The stadium itself is all cement. You get inside it. It's kind of weird. If you're, you know, been to baseball stadiums at all, it's a strange stadium. That being said, we definitely have a sports uh, town. I mean, because the bottom line is that the Lightning have an amazing amount of fans. The, the Bucks have an amazing amount of fans. The Rays have a lot of fans, but a lot of the fans do not go to the, the, the game. That's the real bottom line. Now, what's going to happen is that they're going to do, they're talking about uh, doing half a season in Montreal, half a season here. We'll see what ends up happening. My take is that it's going to, uh, well, and then and they may go to Tampa also. Um, the, bo the bottom line is that I expect what we're going to see is that uh, there'll be a smaller stadium. They're going to stay in St. Pete, and that's how I, I see this thing running. And the reason, folks, is this. So picture this. The, the way this works is I believe it's 2027 that their, their lease is up. The Rays right now are in a great spot because they have the development rights of 85 acres in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, the guy that owns the Rays came from Goldman Sachs. He's not going to give that up. That's my take on it. It has been my take for a long period of time. Um, you know, I, it's just like, why give it up? <laughs> the, 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 the land is worth more than the team. <laughs> so it's like, okay, I, I, I suspect they're going to get it figured out. They make a nice 14,000, you know, um, stadium they'll probably get some action you know and i remember and now check this out because people always thought that the boston red sox you know always had people my father parked cars over there as a second job and when i was a kid i was always there i mean my room smelled like baseballs i'm talking about nine seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay and when ted williams got his last home run because I, I was there every, every, almost every game, folks. When he got his last home run, there were, I, I, I had said to Tommy, there was only 5,000 people there. I Googled it. There were only 9,000 people there, 9,000 to 10,000 people. 
and that was Ted Williams' last game and last home run. I mean, Fenway used to always be empty, and then all of a sudden it wasn't. You know, that's that's the real that's that's how it came out. So we'll see how it comes out with the Rays. Um, they're in Boston tonight. Boston's ahead by two to one, which, you know, the, the Rays have beat Boston many times this year. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. But that's what you do have happening uh, inside of uh, Rays baseball. And they're going to have to figure it out. But, uh, you know, what, what I they've been going through this. Well, they've been going, they've been supposedly negotiating for about seven or eight years. But Pitchy had negotiated in seven or eight years, and then all of a sudden the city of St. Petersburg is one of the hottest cities in the whole country. And this is what happened in Boston, too. This would, in fact, this is exactly how it came down. What happened on uh, one of the streets there is that the Lions Brothers came in and started developing bars, entertainment places, bowling, all, all of this. And the bottom line it turned into a hit because then what it, what happened is that it was a destination for everyone. If you you'd go into the game, you wouldn't go into the game, and that's what I suspect is going to happen in St. Pete because they're going to develop this 85 acres, whether they have the Rays or don't have the Rays. They have one development plan with the Rays. They have another one without the Rays. I just can't see how you're going to leave St. Pete, and it's like really you're leaving the hottest city in the whole country, and you came from Goldman Sachs. Not going to happen, folks. Great negotiation, though. <laughs> um, you know, because like every baseball team or football team or hockey team, um, they, uh, you know, this is a great question, too. Uh, the question is, what is in the 85 acres now, right now? So listen to this. This is, you got to Google it. What's there is Tropicana Field, just one dome with all parking. That's it. There's nothing there. That's why it's a blank canvas. That's why it's going to be worth so much. Well, it's already worth so much money. Everything around it. Right now, an acre, an acre in St. Pete's going for about 16 million right now, and this is 85 acres. Okay, so you can just do the math on that. This is like, this is like, no matter what city you're in, think about right in the middle of the city, and you know, on both sides you get, you're growing exponentially, and on the hall, all the sides it's surrounded by water by three three ways. St. Pete, so Pinellas County is a finger in the water. St. Pete is another finger in the water off the finger in the water. And that's what I dig about this place, and that's why I basically, you know, when I start doing business here, it's set up just like Boston and just like South Boston. Exactly. You know, so we'll see where it shakes out. But uh, bottom line, I suspect they're going to stay here, and we'll, we'll find out. Uh, you get some heavy players in Tampa that want them in Tampa. I don't think the Tampa would get them more business. You know, there is definitely the difference between Tampa and, and St. Pete is that Tampa, there's definitely many more offices in Tampa, but... They just started putting, like, you, you have offices there, but it's not a walkable city. You know, you, you go to your office, then you get in your car and you go home. St. Pete needs more offices, but in St. Pete, no one gets in their car because you, you have about 34 blocks with about seven or eight other blocks times 34 that you can walk everywhere. So pretty cool all around. Um, Coming up at uh, 340, folks, I got an amazing guest today. This is so cool. I'm so psyched about this because you've heard me many times. Bridget and I, we always go up to Kings Bay, the springs. Florida has an amazing amount of springs, folks, okay? But I got an uh The guy's name is Oscar Corral. Now, he won the Emmy Award uh, for a documentary that he had on PBS for Exotic Invaders. Uh, that's all about the Burmese pythons and the Everglades and all these uh, other invasive species that have basically come into the Everglades. This one here is about the Fellowship of the Springs. Um, he visited 30 different springs, uh, bottom line in Florida. If you've never uh, seen the springs, and there's plenty of folks that haven't, um, we'll get you to his, well, his website is floridasmagicwaters.com. Uh, I can't wait to talk with this guy because the bottom line is that this is life extraordinaire folks okay um fresh water fresh water springs that we have and they're they're every they're everywhere in florida it's pretty amazing market wise out here let's go take a look at that nq because you got it reaching down a bit the nq right now uh manatees oh yeah manatees like beyond belief the most manatees in the world folks are in king's bay and i see them many times and in fact, I, have, I haven't, I've sent, sent plenty of pictures 
uh, out to our own web, but I haven't broadcast them yet. I'd love to broadcast right from that dock someday. So right now the NQs are at 766, 758, man. We'll see whether it's going to break it. That's a high volume low at 758. So if you, if you break it, uh, that thing can get all the way down to uh, 722. You know? Coming into the close, we've got plenty of time to get a half hour coming into the close. Uh, inside the uh, NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Uh, strength out here. You get checkpoint is up 1.9%, aim at up 1.6, test are up 1.7. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 190. You get the NASDAQ uh, down to 35. S&Ps are off 19. And, you know, the whole world right now, we're talking about inflation, folks, whether it's here, whether it's transitory, you had uh, Goldman Sachs as well as J.P. Morgan uh, coming out this morning uh, saying that the dip in it as, in, as inflation is transitory. Um, here's a couple quotes. Uh, stagflation fears may be rising, but strategists at some of the Wall Street's biggest banks, what we're talking here is uh, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, 
Uh, they are saying, buy the dip, man. This is, this is a trip, man. I don't know where these people, well, I know where they're living. They're, they're, you know, well, here, let's go through some of it. Um, so here's where the, the Goldman Sachs guy here says, despite near-term uncertainty, we expect the equity market will continue to rally as investors gain confidence that the current pace of inflation is transitory. Uh, Goldman Sachs strategist uh, David Carson wrote in a note to clients, and simultaneously, the, you had the uh, uh, chief strategist at J.P. Morgan Chase concurring uh, with him that uh, stagflation fears will start to fade. Uh, they live in a different world, man. That's the real bottom line, because uh, I don't see, well, like, there's a couple different deals that you have going. One, one of the biggest deals is that you have supply bottlenecks, you have prices that are already up dramatically, you know, now, yes, when we start talking oil prices, yeah, they can back down, okay? Uh, they back down, they go up and down all the time. What doesn't go up and down all the time, folks, is the supplies that we use every day. Lumber, yeah, that happens. But I'm talking about all the other stuff that you use. Appliances, they're not going back down, but appliances are up. Windows are up. Pools are up. You know, you can just go on and on and on. And they're, and they're up by a big amount, too, not a, not a small amount. Uh, and what does happen is this. When... It is not, it is absolutely not transitory when it gets into the payrolls, okay? Let me just show you this. They're, you know, they're talking about, so companies, companies are telling us right now their expenses are going through the roof. Look at this Zoom, okay? So Zoom, Zoom's trading 255, right? So watch these numbers, because we're going to be getting all the numbers coming out, right? The earnings are coming out. Look at this. So they're going to take in the same amount of money. They're going to take in a billion dollars, right? But last quarter, they made $1.36. They're only going to make $1.08 because their expenses have gone up so dramatically. That's Zoom. So fundamentally, they're telling us this, right? Watch this one. I was doing these this morning, looking at them. Walmart, okay? Walmart, we know, monster. You know, biggest company in the world, right? Same setup. Walmart, well, it was Walmart. I'm not quite sure what's going on here with Walmart. Walmart is actually going to take in less money, $135 billion, and do $1.39 versus $1.78. Monster number. Um, what else was I looking at? Walmart. Oh, okay, Disney. Here, watch this. I think Disney, Disney is the only one. Disney, no, I think Disney's the same. Their expenses are going to go up too, but they're, they're actually going to make 18 billion. Yeah, same deal. Okay, so watch. Now, Bill, D Disney is taking in 18.8 billion. That's what they planned. That's 1.8 billion more than they did last quarter, but yet they plan on making 50 cents and they were making 80 before. The expense side of the balance sheet, folks, um, has gone up pretty dramatically for these uh, companies, for everyone. Not just, uh, but the, the cool thing about public companies, of course, is that you can see them, okay? Um, yeah, let's go to the banks. Let's go see what the banks, JP Morgan, let's see what the banks have to say. And that'll be interesting because the banks shouldn't go up. And re the reason being, they don't have, okay, now look at the same thing though. Here, so check this out. So JP Morgan is saying they're going to take in $29.9 billion and they're only going to make two two ninety nine. They took in 31.4 last time, made 378. They're saying they're going to make less money too. Now, the, what I was just going to say about the banks is that that's pretty weird because they don't have the banks are they don't have supplies they have to buy man <laughs> that's the bottom line and they have the interest rate interest rate structure going the right way for them so if we look at bank of america here it goes so they they have cost too they have cost too well no actually they have employees but that's okay so here check it out bank of america 21.7 billion, so they're going to take in 100 million in the last quarter, but yet last quarter they made a dollar three to the bottom line. This time they're making 70 cents. These numbers, you know, we're going to we're going to see some numbers that are basically shallow, and you know when we start talking uh, inflation and transitory, the thing that just cracks me up is that you get Goldman Sachs and uh, what was yeah J P Morgan. Uh, strategists out there, buy the dip, buy the dip, and if I think, so that's J.P. Morgan. Yeah, it was Morgan Stanley, I think, that came out and said, yeah, Morgan Stanley is just the op opposite way. Morgan Stanley, they're saying that they see uh, some pushback because consumers uh, are more worried about inflation. 
And it, what, what does happen, folks, okay, inflation absolutely gets going when it's our perception, okay? There's no doubt about that, meaning that if your perception is that things are going to go up, well, you are pushing the envelope. And I, like, I'm pushing the envelope right now, man. I'm buying stuff out six months that I don't even need. In fact, I have one of my assistants checking out here today is that I'm buying a bunch of stone, okay? And there's a, there's a, there's a sale on it right now, okay? And the sale is pretty extensive. Normally, it's like $7.09 a square foot. Bottom line, I can get it for four ninety nine dollars a square foot. Um, you know, and, and if they'll hold it, I'm going to buy a lot of it. Um, that's, that's what happens, though. That's what happens to all of us, okay? That, you know, you accelerate, you, you push things forward, you push the cash forward, and then what ends up happening is that the acceleration of cash, okay, also goes quicker, 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 but that acceleration is at higher prices. That's how that works. Well, let's go take a look at the, um, okay, so let's go look at the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. The, Point-wise out here, what we have, we have uh, Home Depot putting 20 positive points, Salesforce 15, Boeing 7. Taken away from it, Goldman minus 42, Visa 34, JP Morgan 21, uh, United Health 19. It's, it's, it's intriguing that the, uh, the banks are taking uh, a little hit out here today. Let's see when JP Morgan, yeah, the 13th. Oh, yeah, so we, we're kicking off uh, earnings here on Wednesday. Um, that whole cycle starts, and uh, bottom line, we're going to see these numbers coming out, and we're going to also see what these companies are saying about that ledger, meaning that what is that expense ratio, uh, how long has it taken them to get things, um, and those bottlenecks. Never mind, never mind. Here, let's go bring up oil, man, because this oil chart, okay, so we hit 82.18 today. And, yeah, when we did this, I, I remember doing this because this is like a large ABC up. Yeah, it's a monster, too. So the real question is, let me put this on a weekly because it might be a weekly ABC up, too. Okay, so let me put this back. I'm going to put this on a monthly. We'll cut to the chase and see where this thing wants to go. So I'm bringing this back 25 years right now. Come on. Think, think quicker. There we go. Okay. Yeah, 107's game. We're at 80 in 107's game. It, it, this thing just took out everything. It'd have to, it'd have to get below 76 to have any problems. Stay right there, folks. Uh, we're coming back with our man, Mr. Oscar Correll. He is the uh, Emmy Award winner, journalist, photographer, documentarian, and, and we're going to be talking about the Fellowship of the Springs. Sarah Deff, folks, come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50.
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down uh, 193. We got the Nasdaq's off 53. S&P's are off 21. Our uh, guest today, folks, is uh, Oscar Carell. Oscar is the award-winning uh, journalist, photographer, documentarian. Uh, he won an Emmy uh, for the PBS series Exotic Invaders, and I'm sure most of us uh, saw parts of that, folks, because the bottom line, those Burmese pythons coming into the Everglades, um, he got into it a lot more about other exotic invaders coming Coming in, but great film, uh, which was on uh, Amazon Prime as well as Netflix. Well, he has a new um, documentary out, and it is uh, something you want to watch. We have the website up right now. The website is floridasmagicwaters.com. And, and this documentary, uh, folks, is The Fellowship of the Springs. It originally um, aired on PBS in April. Uh, it is still on PBS uh, in Florida, and uh, Oscar visited 30 different Florida Springs. And if you've never seen Florida Springs, folks, after this interview, you are going to see them. You're going to come visit us because they are absolutely incredible. Oscar, welcome to TFNN. Thanks, Tom. It's great to be here. I'm telling you, you know, uh, I was actually at, at Kings Bay. Kings Bay is my favorite place to hang out. When I saw this come across the Bloomberg, right? And I says, oh, my God, I got to get this guy on. So first off, t t tell us what you're doing with the Fellowship of the Springs and inform these people just how beautiful, well, how beautiful our springs are. The Fellowship of the Springs for television is a two-part series that we produced for, uh, for PBS in Florida. And it's run in PBS stations all over Florida over the last several months. Um, right now, what we did is we merged the two episodes into one film, and so we are uh, hitting film festivals all over the state of Florida right now um, with, with our documentary in two days. So on Thursday, we have a premiere at the Treasure Coast International Film Festival, and we have the Central Florida International Film Festival and, and several others coming up um, where this is also going to be running. But it's also running on PBS at the same time. It's just kind of a different packaging, so we merged the two. And really what happened was, I wanted to make a, f a film about the springs because I, I love the springs. And when I started uh, kind of investigating what happened with, you know, what's happening with the springs and, and how, how they're being destroyed, um, I figured that I, I needed to put my skills as a journalist to use and to answer the question as to what's happening to these springs and can they be saved. And springs, you mentioned Kings Bay, Tom. Kings Bay is beautiful. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing place that is one of the biggest harbors for manatees in the entire uh, coast of the United States. It's, it's uh, a place where manatees go in the winter, and if you go there kayaking in the winter, you're going to run into a bunch of manatees. Yes. That's where you go seek, uh, seek warmer waters in the winter. And Three Sister Springs is part of Kings Bay. It's a beautiful place. And, and Kings Bay is, is evidently one of the places that is um, really impacted by what's happening with the springs, a loss of flow at the springs. Also, the, the algae uh, blooms that are, that are destroying all the native grasses in the springs. Um, those can be found in Kings Bay. Um, but beyond Kings Bay, Florida has the largest springs and the highest concentration of freshwater springs on Earth. And right now, our, our regulators and our government are not doing a very good job of protecting these places. In fact, um, they're enabling their destruction. 
And so I think it's important for people to know that their government um, can and should save these places, um, but they're just not doing it because they're basically uh, caving to corporate interests. And you, you know what's so cool? And folks, if you've never been to a spring, I hope that when you see this, and I hope that you, you see Oscar's film, you'll come to a spring. And I can guarantee you, you know, we got a country that's divided. You will not be divided, okay, when you see this nature. Because, you know, the first time that I ever got turned on to this Oscar was only like seven or eight years ago. You know, my better half, Bridget, turned me on to it. I just couldn't believe it. You know, the water gushes out, folks. It's absolutely amazing. And I got to see parts of Kings Bay come back. Because right now, there's parts like this year, we were just up there three weeks ago. You can see the grass is coming back. I don't know if it was a hurricane, but you know, there's a, well, there's a lot of people doing a lot of work like yourself, right? I mean, they're right. out there raking it. And it's just incredible. Um, once it does come back, I, I, I've got to see the difference, meaning that you're looking down, sometimes folks, it's dark. Then you're looking down now in parts of it, and you can see right to the bottom. You can see the manatee. You can see all the little fish running around. Really cool, man. I mean, it's really amazing. What I Kings did, Bay, what I did. Bay, oh, go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Kings Bay is being actually actively restored by a group of uh, of engineers that are replanting the grasses that have been killed by the algae. So let's see if that lasts, if it can make it. Right. And when you read that story, it's pretty cool, folks, because once it does grab, right, it, they have a shot. They have a shot. So tell tell us. The, the, so we have the nitrates. Nitrates are hurting the springs, right? What else is hurting the springs? Nitrates hurting the springs. People not basically, uh, well, th throwing garbage in the springs, that's for sure. But what are, the, what are the biggest threats to the springs right now? There, there's two major threats to the springs right now. Overpumping of groundwater, which is regulated by the water management districts in the state. Okay. And, and pollution from nitrates. The, the worst pollution from nitrates comes from agriculture, and that is happening mostly in northern Florida. But there's other smaller sources of pollution for uh, some springs, such as septic tanks and urban runoff. I see. Okay. But those two are the, ma are the major factors, overpumping of groundwater and uh, pollution from nitrates. And I think, uh, I think it, the agricultural industry has a role to play here in saving the springs, and they, ne they need to innovate to figure out how to grow um, agriculture using less fertilizer and uh, recycling more water so they don't pump as much water. Well, and there's no doubt that they, those chemicals aren't good for our bodies, man. They, uh, those chemicals can kill you in a second, man. I mean, that's, if you want to live for a while, folks, <laughs> that's, that's the other side of it, right? You know, it's, sometimes it blows my mind that, you know, we, we know the science behind it, and then it's like, okay, how long do you want to live? I mean, you know, and never mind the planet. We, we can see the planet, you know, the, the, we take care of the planet, the planet will take care of us, you know? I mean, that's, right. what, that's what it really comes down to. That outside of the whole, so tell us the, the other springs. I, I'm only familiar really with the Kings Bay and that whole area. Out, other springs in Florida, are there springs that are further out, outside of rivers that are like, a, do you know what I mean? I mean it, yeah, yeah, there, there's, Florida has uh, some amazing springs. There are these beautiful places that you, you visit and you never forget them because the, just the cold water is a shock to the system. Yeah. And there's places like Wikiwachi Springs, which is about an hour north of Tampa. Yes. And that's, that's an iconic place where mermaids perform in an underwater theater. But you could also kayak down the river and swim around and there's water slides for kids. Then there's places that are more pristine like Alexander Springs or like uh, Glen, uh, Glen Cove Spring, which is in, um, in Ocala National Forest. Uh, and then there's oh. places like Silver Springs, which is one of the biggest tourist attractions in Florida until Disney World opened up in the 70s. Springs were really the first tourist attraction in the state of Florida. And they're, they're iconic places that are important, not just to our, to our heritage, but exactly as you said, Tom, to our drinking water supply. People don't necessarily understand that the water that's coming out of the springs is the water that we're drinking in Florida. And if we keep polluting the aquifer where we, where the, that, that feeds the springs, if we keep polluting that groundwater with nitrates and other pollutants, um, eventually that's going to come back to us in terms of bad health because we're drinking that water. So it's, it's not just in the best interest of the springs to, to reduce pumping and to reduce pollution. It's in the best pit. It's in the best interest of everybody's health in Florida to do this. No, there's no doubt. And what Oscar's talking about, folks, this is pretty cool. I've actually seen this. I've seen when, you know, folks that, you know, really care about Crystal River, they're out there with their rakes, they're cleaning it. What ends up happening, folks, is amazing. They clean it. And then all of a sudden, there's another little spring that's there. They're, they're small. I mean, it's not as big as Crystal River, but there are springs that we don't even know about yet. And yeah. it's amazing. Listen, folks, come over to his website. And, you know, listen, I never asked this. You are going to donate to this guy, okay? The bottom line, he's out here working his butt off, okay? Please come over to the website. We're going to send this out as an email. Donate now. 
Give 20 bucks, 30 bucks, give something, folks, okay? Because the bottom line, it's beautiful. You want your children to see it, your grandchildren to see it, and you gotta see it, man. If you haven't seen it, you're crazy. Come on down. Oscar, this was awesome, man. Appreciate you having on. Love to have you on again. Thank you, Tom. Great being on with you. Thank you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You too. Sharpening Sarah your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 230. NASDAQ's off 80. S&Ps are off 28. The website, folks, is Florida's magicwaters.com. So F-L-O-R-I-D-A-S, magicwaters.com. Check it out. Amazing. It's so cool the guy's doing it, too. Market-wise out here, you can see we got a little weak market. Uh, that's the bottom line. They sold it off coming into the close. You can see that high volume low that we had out here uh, inside of the uh, NDX uh, went right after it. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, let's see, so we are at, that was 722. You're at 719. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll struggle a little bit here, but, you know, my take on this is that, you know, you don't have buyers out here, man. That's the bottom line. Um, we're in a correction, uh, wants to go south, you know, even on a weekday. So, um, you know, market-wise out here, you, you really better just look at where you're at, folks, okay? You want to look at the gaps underneath equities that you have, because when you start getting a correction, they're going to go for those gaps, um, you know, are you leveraged? If you leverage too much, please pull back, okay? Uh, it's easier pulling back when you're, you're 
only down a little versus down a lot. Don't, uh, you know, because my, my take on this, when we went through those numbers, okay, some of the fundamental numbers, these fundamental numbers aren't going to come in. Technically, this is set up to go lower. When I start looking at those fundamentals numbers this morning, it's like, okay, man, they're telling you fundamentally they're going to make less money. And then all is you have to do is trust yourself, meaning walking around your neighborhood. I don't think there's a neighborhood probably in the United States right now that things haven't gone higher. So every time you hear trans, you know, uh, transitory versus real inflation, it's like, man, okay, guess what? They're, we know they're in a different world. There's no doubt about it. They're not buying gas. They're not buying food. They're not paying for kids' education. They're not paying for health care. They're not paying for, to take care of their children. They're not, they're not paying for anything, okay? Either that or they... Someone else pays their bills for them. Who knows? The bottom line is that inflation's here in spades. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Great show. Look at him, folks.